If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please consider hitting the like button. It really does help the video out, even if I don't deserve it because I'm terrible at video games. And if you want to follow me on Twitter for absolutely no reason, the link for that is down below. Now, if you do need any coins, head over to u7buystore.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a discount. The link is in the description. What is going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to a brand new video, 6 p.m. Uh, I am warning you, there will be an error message on the screen very soon at my controller. Believe it or not, is low on battery. Who would have thunk it? PS5 controller being low on battery. So, I've not looked at much of anything, uh, as always, really, the last few days. Uh, I, I don't even know what day it is. Today is Tuesday, tomorrow is a brand new Team of the Week. This week's Team of the Week has been really difficult to get into in terms of investing. There are, or there have been, and this isn't going to be an investing video, I'm just going to point it out for those who care. Um, there, there was one opportunity at one point, Christ, why did they make you do this uh, this week, where you could have jumped on Odegaard for 16, 16 and a half K. He went up to 19, 20. He might even be more expensive than that again. This week, though, has been all about the showdowns, obviously. Gareth Bale was the same, by the way. He came down to end the same thing and then went back up to the same thing. I have no idea how much he is now, or they are now. And that's because of the showdowns. We've had a fair few decent-looking uh, cards, actually. Richarlison's one of those that I really wanted to do, but I can't justify the price. Uh, Tavernier looks decent. Of course, I did the, the other one. Um, we have Ryan Kent, which was released yesterday, which, to be fair, isn't a terrible price, 84 85 But again, I can't bring myself to pull the trigger because cards this year are weird. He looks insane on paper, but you know full well when you get him on the pitch, he's not going to be as good as you remember, and that might be a problem. So, I don't know. Harvey Barnes, I'm pretty sure that's new today. And Mario Goetze is the, the new, are the new two. Uh, for today. Why am I laughing? It's just Mario Goethe, isn't it? Like, he's, he's not even that old. What was his date of birth? 1992. It's crazy. He's 29. This guy's in his 20s still. And I feel like he's been around since before I was born. Like, he's so... I don't know, it's one of those players that is just moving around constantly you think his career is like coming to an end sort of thing he goes to PSV having played for some of the biggest clubs in the world and essentially won Germany a world cup and then yeah plays for PSV and you think oh he's coming to the end of his career he's still only 29 it's crazy um he looks all right to be fair not a bad little card not the easiest of cards to fit into a team although you know you've got a decent looking grave and birch and stuff only the one segment 84 rated with a team of the week which is not bad and i'm sure harvey barnes harvey barnes is more expensive and you i mean three star skills he's not as good as goethe is he uh, a lot of you might argue yeah he is because he's quicker but paces and everything um he's, he's just not as good in my opinion i think mario goethe is the better card is Goethe more likely to go up than, than Barnes? Probably not, but still, I would rather do Goethe than I would Barnes, and Barnes is an 82-rated team and an 84 with an inform, so you are literally adding an 82-rated team with 80 chemistry on top of what Mario Goethe is valued at. The other thing to note, uh, this marks a, a brand new transition in the history of FIFA. Not really. Uh, they've, they've got rid of the upgrade tab, and they've whacked everything into foundation. So gold upgrade, bronze upgrade, silver upgrades, even the, the champion, the foot champions, I keep wanting to call it Champions League, the foot champions upgrades, they've been bundled in with the foundations SBCs, which kind of suggests that, hey, this system is archaic and we need a new one. Uh, it also suggests that they are going to add something in the future. So for example... Uh, we, we have live and, and all and favourites and everything. Not everyone will have favourites because if you get rid of these, then this disappears, right? But it does suggest that EA are maybe looking to bring in yet another tab or maybe they're going to bring in um, this type of thing more often. So they've got showdown series. Maybe, just maybe, they will extend this showdown series permanently or maybe even club together a few other bits and bobs and chuck it under this tab because I've always felt like 
the SBC section, even though we have a lot of SBCs, there could be more. And there could be some that, you know, constant upgrades, maybe even bring back the upgrades tab and throw constant ever-changing upgrades in there. Maybe they only ever last two or three days, but we constantly have a, a source of upgrades. I don't know. It would be it would be good to see a different system in, in next FIFA, whether I play it or not is um, still up for debate. But uh, I think this system is done and dusted now because there's just never enough, like having to scroll through everything. Swaps, for example, is the biggest um, excuse my French, shit show going because, I mean, not necessarily at the moment, but when there is a promo swaps, so for example, when we had wildcard and we had a swaps for that, and then they have this and they have that one, and then you go through it again and you have this this nonsense at the end that no one ever partakes in, they've got that there as well. It's just a mess. There's just so much under the one tab. They need sort of sub-tabs to it, really. It just needs to look a lot different. I'm hoping that next FIFA is completely overhauled really from the ground up it just needs a brand new menu system anyway that was potentially for a different video am i going to do any of these i don't know um ryan kent looks looks tasty and he's probably the one that i would go for i think i probably will do mario goethe because i do it every year because let's be honest he gets a card every year i just feel like that is a better card than barnes he doesn't quite have the pace that barnes has but he has pretty much everything else. Like he's got the, the dribbling, the ball control, the reactions and composure and balance in abundance. He has much better passing. And he's got obviously volleys, penalties if you're interested, shot power, finishing and attack positioning. Let's be honest, they're not terrible. I think that's a better card. And it's cheaper. Um, might just be me. Of course, you know, pace might be a thing. But to, for me, I don't know, pace isn't really that big a deal. I like slowing it down and being a bit boring. I say being a bit boring. I do skills for days and try and run through people. That's not really boring, but um, slowing the game down can be. And that's exactly what I like to do. Traits-wise, again, he's got flair. He's got finesse shot. Uh, I just think that is probably the one. See, they're all CPU, uh, apart from outside of the foot shot, which is take it or leave it. It's not a bad card. Don't get me wrong. I just think that Goetz's is better and you'd be hard-pressed to argue against me. He just has a little bit more pace, and he doesn't have the skill moves, which I'm obviously all for. But that's it. I want to know, not are you going to take one of these, I want to know, have any of you done Ryan Kent? And if you have, can you let me know, please, if he's actually worth doing? Because I really want to do it, but I don't want to waste cards, you know? I don't play the game enough to be able to build the, the fodder back up that quickly. So I kind of need to pick and choose my battles. I don't mind spending coins on Goethe, but I'd like to use fodder on Kent. But I want to know, is he actually worth doing? That agility makes me want to do it. That stamina means that you can keep him on all game. And that pace mixed with a five-star weak foot and four-star skills definitely entices me. But is he actually good enough in game? Let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed this very rare episode of 6pm content, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for you. And until the next time, goodbye.